Hi everyone, welcome to Socially Social TV. My name is Rachel Ecclefence. Um, if you watched my previous video, we talked about how to start and build a business on eBay, and we talked about niching. If you haven't watched it, you know, find it down below throughout the uh, videos or on one of these pages, you'll be able to find it. So we're just going to carry on that series on niching, and we're going to talk about how to find your product. Now, we talked about different kinds of products for different kinds of seasons and different kinds of products for different kinds of personality, hobbies and your things that you like. So let's talk about if you are going to sell products on eBay and it's relating to your hobbies. One thing you can do is look around your home. If you've got things lying around that you haven't used for ages, um, for example, um, skating shoes, um, shoes, bags, clothes, you know, DVDs like I mentioned in my other videos and they're sitting around and they're just gathering dust but you know you want to make a little bit of money to um, save up for a holiday to you know like I said help to pay your tuition everything I'm talking about is not for you to quit your job is to create extra money while you're working on your job and hopefully if your business does well you can actually quit your daytime job and do something that you enjoy doing so First of all, number one, look around your home and look at things that you do not use anymore and you know, they still work, you know, they're in good condition and then think about selling that. What I do, number two, is I go to charity shops. I love charity shops. I also love expensive shops, but I love a bargain. I'm a woman for a bargain. So I'll go into charity shops and I'll look at um, clothing, I'll look at shoes. You can find some really, really good clothing and good shoes that have hardly been worn and very good prices. I pay four pounds down to even one pound fifty for good quality leather boots and leather shoes and designer clothing. I have loads of designer clothing that I got from charity shops. So go to charity shops and look in there and you can find your product as well. Another thing, number three, I do, I go to supermarkets. Supermarkets have sales in season. So if you go to the section where they have sales, they have things that haven't been um, um, sold or they want to change and get new products in, I bought an actual, which I'll show my preview in my next video because I haven't got it to hand at the moment, um, coffee makers. And those coffee ma makers actually were going for the original price was 49 .99. I got those coffee ma uh, makers for £3. £3. I managed to buy 20 coffee makers for three pounds each and the original price was 49.99 i managed to sell them on ebay for um just under the actual retail price of 30 pounds and i sold them so go into supermarket stores and look in the sections where they have reduced things you will be able to find that um, to find that another thing is ask friends and family if they get rid of things that they don't want or even neighbors you know, collect those things. Obviously, be selective of the things that you choose because you want to sell them online. You don't want something that's broken, something that you can't sell. I'm going to talk about in my next video how you can actually get something that's broken, fix it up, jab it up, and sell it as well. So you've been listening to Rachel Abel for this. A quick tips on how to find a product to sell on eBay. Please don't forget to subscribe to my Twitter and my Facebook page, and also watch my YouTube channel as well. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.